Next case, a new Fox poll shows an overwhelming majority of voters say the Trump conviction had no impact on their vote. Six percent say they changed their vote because of it. Former Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker joins me now. Matthew, welcome back. Does that surprise you? Good morning, Stuart. Um, I, I don't think it surprises me because, uh, you know, I was up at the trial and saw it for what it was, and I think a lot of Americans saw it for exactly what it was, which was an over-aggressive, politicized process where the judge and the prosecutor were in collusion to jam through in a very blue jurisdiction uh, the conviction of Donald Trump for kind of novel legal theories. And so I can imagine the American people just kind of let it roll off their backs. I mean, there's obviously more serious issues right now. You know, we have a corporate uh, tax uh, cut that's going to expire in 2026. We have the 250th uh, celebration of our country. But most importantly, we have table, uh, kitchen table issues like inflation uh, and crime that are obviously the front and center for most Americans. Uh, a former Obama attorney general, that will be uh, Eric Holder, He's concerned over the coming decision on Trump's presidential immunity. Holder said this, and I'm quoting now, anything less than a decision by the Supreme Court that says a president should be held to the law just like any other American citizen should be, anything other than that is absurd. Matthew, straighten me out for a second, will you? What the Supreme Court will decide on is presidential immunity for official acts, putting limits on that immunity. Have I got that right? Yeah, you've got that right. And if you listen to the arguments a couple months ago, what you heard, Stuart, was uh, the court wrestling with kind of where to draw this line. Obviously, there's not a lot of precedent. Uh, all we have is the Nixon case uh, regarding a civil matter that suggested that uh, it was a very broad uh, presidential immunity for official acts. But in this case, I'm worried that the left, because they're always tactical and there's no strategy, they're going to draw a line or, or want a line drawn like Eric Holder does, which essentially makes every future president uh, make decisions in a kind of a, in a space of thinking through what's going to happen next. Am I going to be prosecuted by the next administration for making a decision that is well within my constitutional duties? And so I think uh, you're going to see the court much more thoughtful in the impact for future generations and, and not how it affects Donald Trump. And if it, you know, if it benefits Donald Trump in the near term, I don't think the court really cares about that because, they're, again, they're thinking what happens for future presidency and how do we maintain the republic uh, instead of what the left wants sure. to do, which is always to, you know, tear down and attack Donald Trump. If Trump were granted some level of immunity by the Supreme Court, what impact would that have on his trials and on the election? Well, I mean, the, the, the short answer is it will delay most likely the D.C. matter. But I think what the court's probably going to do is send it back to Judge Chutkin in the district court in D.C. for her to decide which in the indictment, which were official acts and which were uh, non-official acts. And I think that is obviously going to take a lot of time, Stuart. Got it. Matthew Whitaker, thanks for joining us, sir. I know we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.